So just to say hi guys, um, today is about two weeks, 14 days, I believe exactly 15 days since my operation and it was gastric bypass done in Dundee in Scotland. Uh, I'm feeling pretty well, a bit t I, I, I feel tired most of the time. Uh, one of my friends who, who had actually gastric bypass before says it's just my body still adjusting. I can't exactly sleep just now. It's not just pain. I'm a belly sleeper. So I sleep on my belly and, you know, it's the pain when I try to sleep on my belly. But then it's well, I think the medication make my mouth so dry. So I wake up constantly during the night would absolutely dry my dry tongue and I have to have a drink and stuff like that. Uh, it's well I just toss and turn, I can't get comfortable. Uh, so I'm just kind of tired. It's not exhausting tired, but tired, tired. Uh, thank God my little one is still at that point where she gets naps. Yay! <laughs> Mommy gonna have a nap with you. Uh, I'm looking good today, but that is just makeup. <laughs> and what I just done because I thought to myself okay if I'm gonna talk to you guys I better look presentable without big bags uh, and what else I can tell you my scars are healing pretty well uh, there's just a little scabies here and there and most of it is healed uh, just now I'm still on period mashed food uh, which is, I would have had Weetabix for breakfast, uh, maybe a bit of scrambled egg for my lunch. In between that, I would have had, uh, today, for example, I had milkshake. No, I'm a lying. I didn't have milkshake. <laughs> that was yesterday. Today, actually, I had, you know, the little pots of trifle. I think I had one of those. I had strawberry trifle. <laughs> it stays in my tummy because it's like jelly and there's not much sponge and custard and cream. So I, I really like that. And a whole pot, it's a bit filling. I, I struggle to fit a whole pot. And so my little girl helps me to finish it, everything. And we, we kind of share everything. It's like, yeah, half hours. <laughs> so it's brilliant. Uh, for tea yesterday, I made curry, which I totally blended to the end of its life. Um, and with that curry, I had a little bit of mashed potato. And I can tell you, a big tablespoon does me. Big tablespoon of curry and big tablespoon of mashed potato. And I felt so full. I tried yesterday blended prawns. It didn't go well. I had a sore tummy. Uh, so I'm guessing the fish and seafood is still quite heavy for me and not easy to digest. So I'm gonna leave fish or seafood for a wee while still. Uh, I tried beef, blended beef, obviously with some gravy. I had curry, as I said. I haven't had chicken. I'm making chicken stew today, just now there. Uh, I put some mushrooms in it and I probably will blend it again. Obviously it's with gravy as well. And just a little tiny bit of mash. I'm eating soups, any kind of soups. Uh, everything is obviously blended to an inch. I'm just now loving cauliflower. Mark, I'm loving your cauliflower soup. <laughs> Cream of cauliflower. It's brilliant. It's uh, my partner's brother-in-law, he's chef and yes, he makes the best soup. <laughs> uh, what else I can tell you guys and remember if you got any questions just comment below and I will answer it or make a video just for you guys uh, I'm still ma taking medication uh, I'm taking I think quite a few stuff I will always be taking medication uh, but it will go to the tablet form. Just now the syrups are disgusting. Oh god. <laughs> Somebody saved me. Never mind. Uh, that's the sacrifice, isn't it? Uh, it's going well. 
I felt a bit sore-headed yesterday and migrainey and stuff like that, but I think it's just too tiredness. Uh, anything else? I didn't weigh myself today. I forgot. And by the time I got to that part, I already had my breakfast and stuff like that. So the weight wouldn't be accurate to whatever I weigh myself every day. Because I try to weigh myself every day at the same time. And I do it usually on the morning before breakfast. And today it was well after breakfast and after my snack. And I thought, there's no point because I'm going to be so much heavier. Uh, yesterday, I weighed 100... No! What I'm saying? I'm too used to saying it. Over 100. And no, I'm under 100 now. Uh, so, yesterday I weighed uh, 96.1 kilos. I'm not sure what that is in stones or pounds. Uh, but... Uh, after calculating it, I've lost now five and a half stone. So, oh, la luna should be flying behind me. Uh, but yeah, it's amazing. I'm gonna just wait. I don't know, will you guys be able to see me? Maybe not from here. But up here, I'm getting there. I know it's quite far away. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting skinny, <laughs> no, no, I'm not, not getting skinny, still far off, but I haven't tried any new clothes, it's like still hanging and baggy and stuff like that, but I ordered myself some clothes online, and I kind of went for that safe size 16 slash 18, which hopefully will fit me. <laughs> I'm not sure because all my old clothes uh -uh, no fit all all hang out <laughs> now everything hangs up me so I'm dreading to spend money because I know it's just gonna be for a short period of time uh, so I'm just trying to hold up but hopefully some trackies and t-shirts will do <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so I think that's all and all is good all is excited. I think the only minus side I was speaking with my friend is that I won't be able to eat salads. Actually, fat people enjoy salads. <laughs> I enjoy salads at least. I love my tuna salad. I absolutely adore tuna salads. So it will be such a mess. Because uh, salad, exactly as a salad, doesn't digest properly. So it will be very hard for Marie Tommy. I was speaking with my friend who sees well after the operation and he says, eh, no. But we will see how we do with other foods. But you guys take care and any questions, just ask underneath. Any ideas for next video, ask underneath. And I see you pretty soon and I will keep you up to date. Love yous.